What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Timu haul and today's Timu haul may seem a little different than they normally are. And that is because I've actually tried to record this entire video that you're about to see. I've tried to record it before. Um, and what happened was the toddler was being uncooperative. And I know there are those of you out there who say, well, she's a toddler. She doesn't she doesn't mean any harm. You should worry about your kid before you worry about your Timu hauls. She was supposed to be going down for a nap. Never actually did go down for a nap, so I had ended up having to get her back up. But the whole time she was in bed trying to go down for a nap, or supposed to be going down for a nap, she was whining and crying and just generally just not having it. So, um, she was quiet at first. But then she stopped being quiet. <laughs> um, and I was mid-haul at that point. So I was trying my best to power through it. And it just... It is a hot mess, y'all. Um, so everything you're about to see has already been pulled out of bags. Um, it's actually going to be three different hauls. Three different orders. But they're all kind of small. So I figured it would be a great time to consolidate a lot of the bags that I have back there waiting to be filmed um, to consolidate into one video that way you're not getting a haul with just three items so um, one haul and um, why do I keep calling them hauls one order has seven items um, and I think another one has five I'm trying to remember correctly here I have my tablet here in case anybody's wondering. Um, but anyway, one haul has seven items. Another haul does have three items and another one has like four or five items. So um, we're just gonna get through it. I do have my tablet if I need to refer back to anything. Um, but at this point, I've already opened everything and become familiar with what these things are. So before I begin though, um, I am an affiliate for Timu. So if you never even downloaded the app before, because basically what they're running right now is if you would like to download the app and order and log in for the first time, if you want to download the app for the first time, log in for the first time and order for the first time from Timu, please don't hesitate to use the discount code, which I will put up on the screen as well as the affiliate link um, which I will be posting down in the description box. Hey guys, so editing Tally here and I just wanted to come in real quick and give you guys a little bit of a explanation regarding the order that you're about to see, this first order. And the long story short of this order was, it was a special deal that I had gotten where if you bought three items from a list of items or a page of items, then you would get, I think it started out as three or four, but in the end it ended up being five items for free. So the only items out of this order that I paid for was the embroidery bag, the pack of washcloths, and the um, girls leggings. So everything else in this order I actually did not pay for, but I will list the current price for those items as of when I'm recording this. So um, just, just just something to give you guys an idea of how much they run, so. Um, but I just thought I'd come in and give you guys that quick little tidbit of information and I will let y'all get back to the video. So Timu does have a lot of dupes. They have a lot of dupes. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna show you is one of those dupes. And I ordered one uh, a pack of three of these from Amazon back for Abby oh, a couple years ago and they were from the actual baby company um and I can't think of the name of it to save my life right now um once I get done filming I'll I'll put it here on the screen but um but I saw Timu had these and I ordered one and upon unboxing these this thing I noticed that it's not as seamless. Um, it doesn't work as seamlessly as the real thing. 
So what I'm talking about is I am talking about one of these gyro bowls. Um, I said it, it's supposed to stay upright no matter which way you go with it. I did notice that, I don't know if you can tell, but it doesn't seem like it's perfectly round. Um, I don't know if anybody else can tell that or if it's just me. Um, but it seems like it's not as perfectly round, so it's it's not wanting to be as free-flowing as it's supposed to be. So, we'll just see. Um, it might still be a good snack bowl, you know, as long as she's not trying to, like, yeet it across the room or anything. Um, and it does come with a lid, which just snaps on to the top right here. So... We're gonna try that. Um, the ones that I got from Amazon definitely were not in this colorway. They were like the bright colors, but this one is a very pale color. So, and they did have several that you could choose from. But I mean, it works pretty good, um, but just not quite as seamlessly as the name brand kind. So, just putting that out there. Um, and you can take them. You can pulled all this stuff comes apart um, to be able to wash it so as far as it being dishwasher safe um I don't know about this one but I know the, the other kind the name brand kind I have put in the dishwasher before um maybe once I do like to hand wash those type of things but sorry there's a hair that's like static cleaned to the bowl sorry <laughs> um so yeah pick one of these up it might be a good bowl for if i just happen to need it so next up i have a pack of washcloths and i've already pulled these out and if this is 12 i think Three, four, five, yes pack of 12 and you can see the colors there there's another orange one. So you can see the colors there. You got an orange, green, pink, blue, white, and purple. And I think there was a couple of different options that you could get um, as far as colorway, as far as colorways. Um, but I pulled this out and I was looking at it, and it's it's pretty decent. Um, it's going to be hard to show you the feel of things, obviously. But, um, but these are pretty nice. Um, I thought these would be good washcloths for using for Abby's baths. Or maybe just, like, if I need to use them to clean for something. Usually I do use microfiber towels to clean with, but sometimes you just gotta grab a washcloth. It happens. So, pick these up. These are really soft. These are really nice. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not regretting that at all. So there's one side. There's your, what you would call the front side. Okay. And then this is your back side. So that's the, that's the other side. So, but it's a nice terry. It's a nice terry cloth. So it's not, it doesn't feel like flimsy or cheap. So. So next up, um, I got one of these, and this is a kind of a store, little storage thing pocket that you would put between your um, car seat and your center console in your car. So, you know that little space that you tend to shove mail down into, or I don't know, newspapers or whatever. There you go. There's your nice little pocket to do that with, <laughs> so they don't fall all the way down um, between the seat and the console. So, pick one of these up. This is, has that leather smell. It smells, I would say it smells good, but this is a really nice, has that, um, what do you call it? Um, not stippling, but you know, like the actual leather. So this is really nice. So, and it has it's, um, several different colors that you could get this in also. So this is really nice. So it's, it has the, it's pretty, pretty sturdy. Um, so get that down in there. So got one of those, put it in my car, 
to keep things from falling between my seat <laughs> and my center console. So, got, got that. I'm gonna put that in my car. I wish they had had it with the blue stitching, but sadly they didn't, so. Um, next up, I have a box. <laughs> and it's a long box. And at first, I didn't remember why I got a long box. But then I started thinking, oh, this is supposed to be for, like, food storage. So, I got it for, like, cel I got it for celery. So, when I get celery from the store, I can put it in here. And, no, it's not going to be as long as the whole celery stalk. But maybe if I go ahead and cut them up, cut the, the ends off of it, um, and then cut it off of the the base, what do you call it? The, ma the main part where they, all the socks come out of. Um then they will fit or unless I get a um a pack of like pre-cut celery stalks so but I picked that up and it hopefully help my celery stay uh fresher a little bit longer so um next we have a notepad um and it's not sticky notes um it's just a regular like notepad of to-do list. Sorry. The wor one of the worst things about living in the South, I think, is the bugs. During the summertime, the gnats and fruit flies can be relentless. Especially if you live out in the country. <laughs> so, pick that up. Um, just, you got a different color for every line of, um, of your to-do list. So you wake up, brush your teeth, take a shower, use the bathroom i don't know just whatever you need to do so yeah pick that up i don't know why i just might be helpful you know for if i'm sitting here it's like okay i need to go here um i need to do this and this and i need to go here i don't know <laughs> you never know you never know uh next up um another thing that i picked up for my daughter was a um, five pack, I believe. Two, three, four. Yes, a five pack of. They're supposed to be leggings, but I don't know if they're going to be end up being leggings or not. So it's going to be more of like the neutral tones. So we have one that's like the browns and the. There's some peach in there. So one like that. And then we have a tan color. And these are all ribbed and they have like a, a scallop bottom hem really cute next color is a see if I can <laughs> next color is a dark dark khaki then we have a gray and again, they all have the scalloping on the bottom, gray. And then finally, a pair of black ones. So, pick those up for her. Um, maybe not necessarily, even, even if they're not leggings, they would be a nice, like, casual pant, I think. So, buy a pack of those. And then the last couple of things I can show you from this order is, um, a couple of things related to crafting. Um, the first one is a diamond painting. And when I was doing my video the other day, when I was doing this video the other day, I was thinking I actually ordered this particular one because I feel like I've looked at it before. But when I was looking back through my orders um, afterward, I noticed that it was a mystery. So... You didn't get the pick which one they sent you it was just a random pick of which one, whichever one you got and I happened to get this one so I probably looked at this one before because I love tigers so he is super cute um, the symbols are nice and dark the symbols are nice and dark they are clear it's just my camera doesn't do well with zooming in so the symbols are really good. Um, and the canvas itself is sparkly 
which I don't know, it's just something I like because it just makes it more fun, you know? If the canvas is sparkly, you know the diamonds are gonna be sparkly. So, and this is the colors that came with it. Obviously you got some greens and some, a lot of dark, darker greens and lighter greens. You've got the, the oranges and the peaches for the tiger. So really pretty colors. And obviously they send you the kit. I like to call this, and excuse my, excuse my French, but I like to call this the basic bitch toolkit. And that is because it's literally the most basic of items that you would need to get started with diamond painting. You have your, your little boat that you put your diamonds in to use the pen, um, to use the, put the wax in the pen and pick them up in your boat. That's literally, that's the basic, basic, basic of diamond painting tools necessary to use to do diamond painting. Um, and every, every diamond painting kit you get is gonna have at least this. Some companies will put in, say, like little tiny, um, like, like, um, not Ziploc baggies, little tiny baggies um, that you can put in, say, extra diamonds in, or someone, some of them will send a pair of tweezers, because some people like to use tweezers for diamond painting, especially if it's a square drill, or a, spe what they call a special drill, which means it has more of, like, rhinestones, differently shaped rhinestones, um, then tweezers will be used. Some people like to use tweezers with those. So, it just depends on the company, um, the, the, the company that actually made the diamond painting of what they like to put in with the kit. But, I got this cute little tiger and I'm so happy that I got him. Because there's nothing worse than, you know, you put in for, you know, you, you buy something and you say, okay, it's a mystery what you're going to get. It's just going to be a random choice. And you get something like, eh, not really my style. But this little guy, this tiger, is definitely my style. So, I'm going to have fun doing him whenever I get to him. <laughs> whenever I get through the all 100 other diamond paintings that I currently have. Um, and the last thing that I can show you is this right here. This is a bag. And it is for embroidery or you could use it for a cross stitch like I will plan on doing um so it has two compartments you have this this compartment here and then you have one up here and these do have these both of these compartments have double zippers so it doesn't matter which side you want to go on so you have that compartment and then this compartment so in the picture they show in this compartment, you know, you can put your scissors, um, like your pens and highlighters and um, maybe a stitch ruler or something right here um, or whatever you want to, whatever you want to put in this little thing right here. And it does have a separate zipped compartment here um, as well as this little thing right here. And then inside of this other section is where you can put your needlework, um, or you can have, have the needlework in here where it has, um, sorry, <laughs> like this is Velcro, it has Velcro strap right here where you can put your needlework hoops or your frames or whatever in here. Um, and it has like a little mesh compartment here. It's actually two separate ones, so they're divided so put all your tools and stuff in here um like say if you're going on a you know a little weekend trip weekend getaway or something and um you know you want to take a couple of a couple of needlework projects with you um you have a bag that you can do that with and you don't have to tote around a whole huge tote bag or anything so, fit all your needlework in so nice nice strap um carrying strap and I thought 
I was thinking that it had a um a long strap too, but it doesn't. But so it's just a carrying handle. So really nice. I did have this in a bunch of different colors you could get in. Obviously, I got purple because I love purple. So picked one of these up. So that is all for that order. I am going to um, do something with this stuff. I'm going to put it away and then I'm going to pull out um, the rest of the rest of the items because like I said that's seven items I think and the other two orders total up to like seven or eight items so I'm gonna do something with this and then I'll be right back okay guys so I am back and if you notice I don't know if anybody was counting but I was a little mistaken on the amount of items for that last little bit um, that was actually eight items um, the next order I'm going to show you, that one is seven items. And then I have one last one that's three items, which is already over here. So let's get into the next little bit here. Yes, the light isn't going to be change, changing. I have the door open, but the sun's going in and out. I can't tell Mother Nature to keep the sun out. So, um, so we're going to start with a couple of smaller items for this order. First up, we have this gorgeous pair of uh, chandelier earrings love these guys I absolutely love these they are a little long on me um seeing as I have a short neck so it's um really pretty though really pretty so as you can see they um they do dust <laughs> my shoulder or whatever you call that right there they do dust that the clavicle and is that your clavicle so they do dust that a little bit, um, but that's okay. I don't mind. They're not, they're not terrible. So yeah, really pretty. So yeah. And they did have a, a few different colors you could get these into. I like to tell y'all that in case, you know, in case you like the style, but maybe not that particular color. So. Um, next up, we do have another sewing thing. Um, I picked these up. These are just some cute little um, embroidery scissors. Um, I picked these up because one of my the favorite pair, one of my favorite pairs of um, scissors that I use in my cross stitch is actually very similar to these. I thought these looked like the same thing, but they're not. So these are the ones that I currently use. You can see they have kind of a plastic jelly colored um, casing. Um, these are similar, but not the same. Um, these go for like seven or eight dollars at, at the retailers. Um, so when I saw these for like a dollar and something, um, I was like, oh my God, is, is it the same scissors? But looking at them now, they're obviously not the same. Um, the, the, the plastic on this is a little more transparent. Um, definitely cheaper feeling. The, um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not smooth when you're opening and closing it. Yeah, see, they're getting stuck. Um, I mean, they're decent scissors. I could still use them, but they're not as smooth as like that. So lesson learned. Um, it's a good thing to try things out. Otherwise you don't know if something's the same or not. So pick these up. Like I said, they weren't very much. Um, they'll stay in my, in my bag for an emergency or something. So got those. And I also picked up a, um, pack of solid color almond shaped nails and there's 10 colors here and there's 24 in each color so we got purple sorry we got purple we got pink got black I don't know how much I'm going to be using the black maybe good for Halloween white also another color that I probably won't use very much um, light blue, dark green, 
You can see it. It's a dark green. Hot pink. Dark, like burgundy color. Light pink. And red. So these are supposed to be the shorter um the shorter ones they're still they are shorts so let me show you these again so they are shorts um on me this is with a longer um a longer nail length um if you have longer nails um however on my middle, this finger and this finger, I have shorter nails um, that aren't as long on the length. Um, and this is what you get. Still somewhat short, but it's, it's a little bit longer, obviously. So, but I don't think these are gonna be as bad as the ones that I ordered that, that were just plain. Um, these, aren't as, these aren't as quite as long as those, so. Those would be good for just a quick, um, a quick nail job, um, which I may have to do here today, just because I, I don't like not having nails on. <laughs> Is it bad that it's gotten to that? Um, I just really feel like I'm incomplete right now. And I feel like I could be doing something with my life. <laughs> And by that, guys, I mean I could be, I could be spending my time doing my nails, but I haven't, I haven't gotten there yet. So, picked up some of those. Um, next up, I got a cute little outfit for my daughter. We have a llama, no drama llama, short sleeve tee with a matching pajama shorts. Super cute, super, super cute. So, you can see that, super cute. Um, and yes, I did get these in threes. And I also got the leggings in threes. I'm done buying size twos because she'll, she'll be turning three in a few months. So, no sense in buying any more size twos. So yeah, these do seem a little bit on the looser side. Um, so yeah. And I also picked up some clothing for myself. Oh, let me um show you something else that I got for her while I have it out. So came in this box, this cute little shoe box, guys. How adorable is that? Um and these are just some cute little canvas canvas shoes so I liked that it had the t-strap on there those and just made them look a little different you know just some style to them so I got these in the white I believe let me double check so they had a white and they had Okay, so this is actually milky. So this isn't white. This is actually the milky color. So it's not a bright white, but it's an off-white. Um, kind of a creamier white. Um, then they had these in black, yellow, regular white, and um, pink as well. So, got those. And I got those in an 8. So she probably won't be able to wear these until next year. But I have them. Just something, a nice, a nice, um light like summery shoe I can't with that box y'all that's such the cutest that's the cutest little shoe box okay so what I got for myself um you're gonna be able to have a hard time seeing this but I will insert a video little little clip of me trying this on um it is a nice stretchy waffle waffle neat what was I about to say a waffle weave um like a long sleeve shirt so 
trying to sit back a little bit here. It's going to be hard to see it, but um, it's 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 stretchy. It's not super heavyweight, um, but heavyweight enough for a um, fall day. So I'm going to be trying that on. I haven't even tried that on yet, guys. Um, so I will try that on for y'all and um, let y'all see it. Okay, so here we have the um, that little waffle waffle knit um, long sleeve shirt. Um, it is comfy. I think I did order a 4X in this, which I didn't need to order a 4X in this apparently. Um, it is plenty loose enough. Um, really comfortable. It is long. Um, and if I should ever want to... it, I have this shirt on, so it probably... I don't know if it would be see-through. You know, if I just had my regular bra on. But... I think if I just wanted to wear it just as a shirt by itself, I think it would be okay. So we're going to kind of do a couple of things with it here. Um, even, let's pretend this isn't here. <laughs> so even if I just wanted to do something like that, that would be super cute. You want the shirt on underneath it? I think that's cute. What do y'all think? <laughs> Is that cute or no? Nah. <laughs> but I mean, the arms are definitely long enough. I have short arms, so they're going to be long on me. And let me see if I can roll these up or not. See if people will allow me to roll these up. And while I'm doing this, these jeans did come from Timu. The shirt's not from Timu. The, um, this shirt, that's not from Timu. Um, that's a goodwill purchase. <laughs> um, but the jeans are from Timu. Um, and I will link these down below as well. So that is that is cute. I could do that too. Yeah, I like that with the rolled up sleeves and even like if it was down like this. I know I'm, I'm trying like different things here with the shirt. I like it either regardless. I like it any way, any way you fly. But I do like this. That is so, that is cute. Especially like this with open with the, that's cute. Nice little cover up kind of deal going on. Um, and as you can see, it's long. So that's a, that's a plus. So yeah, I do like this. I feel like I need to match. <laughs> I'm gonna roll this other sleeve up here too. So this would be good for like a cool, you know, either a cool spring day, a cool autumn day. Um, especially if you live in an area like we live in where the majority of fall is like 50 degrees. <laughs> so give or take, something like that. So yeah, I do like that, that's, that's really cute. So this is definitely a keeper, so there you go. Hope you like it. And then lastly, I picked up this. What is that, you say? This is a koozie. It's a neoprene, um, what do you call this? Like a wrap, a holder for your 40 ounce tumblers. The ones with the handles. Um, I just had mine the other day when I was recording this for the first time. Um, let me go grab my, my tumbler real quick and I'll show you real quick, hold on. Okay, so I got my tumbler and this thing goes uh, around it or on it. So you just put that down in there like that. And this thing wraps around the handle. I'm trying to make sure I show y'all. So this thing wraps around the handle Get it nice and tight there. And there you go. That's going to come in handy for when I take this to work. So, it does have the strap. It has the, the shoulder, comfort shoulder thing. So, yeah, I got one of those. I'm going to love, I'm, I'm going to enjoy taking my tumbler to work a little bit more now. Um, I have took this to work a couple of days this week, so I'm doing a lot better. 
um, at trying to drink water. Um, now granted it was flavored water, but it's still water. And obviously I got the purple with the blue. I think they did have this with purple with pink as well. And they had, they had several color options available, so definitely go check that out. And you can find these in different other listings with patterns and whatnot on them, but I liked just a simple purple and blue. That's my first, that's my first and second favorite colors. <laughs> so, um, so that is all of that order. So since the last one is only three orders, three, three items, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, the first thing I can show you is a glass that I needed to order. I needed this glass like I need another hole in the head. Um, and apparently these are all over TikTok. I guess I don't watch enough TikTok. But these little glasses like this, I guess, are super popular right now. And um, spoiler alert, I have another one on the way. But it has writing on it. And you're just going to have to wait until I get it to see what the writing is. So, but this would be, this is called a four piece set because you get the glass and you get the cork, um, not the cork, but the kind of the wood, um, lid to it, the glass straw, even the straw is glass. Um, and you do get the straw cleaner. I already have straw cleaners, so I'm not super concerned. I'm not super concerned about the straw cleaner, but you gotta watch these wordings, guys. You gotta watch Timu. They'll they'll get you. They'll say four piece um, glass set. Now, to me, a lot of people will think that means you get four glasses and the lids and whatnot that comes with them. No, four piece glass set it's going to include the glass, the lid, the straw, and the straw cleaner. So just be careful when you're when you're looking at these listings, guys. So pick that up. So something that I can drink a nice coffee from. <laughs> like I said, I needed something like this, like I need another hole in the head, but I had to have it. Just had to have it. So I'm gonna put this back in the box for now. At least it did come in a box with bubble wrap um, around the inside of the box there. So, got that. Um, and then I also picked up a three pack of six foot iPhone charger cords. Uh, and these, I think you can get these in the other, other type of connectors as well. You have a pink one, a yellow one, and a, I guess that's purple, kind of a purpley blue kind of color. Um, so like I said, six feet, super long, so super long. Um, and like I said, I got the one that has the iPhone connector, um, and it's USB on the other side, which works for me because I don't always need the box. Um, especially like right here, I have the power strip that has the actual USBs in it, which I got from Timu. So, picked up that. Um, so, I picked one of those because it seems like I'm always needing, needing one for something, or I don't know. It seems like I'm always just needing one. So, I picked that up. Um, I'm probably going to use one of these here in the living room. The last thing that I have to show you guys is something else, another clothing item that I got for myself. And I was kind of hoping this would be cotton, but it's not. It's the uh, linen material. I am concerned about the size of the sleeve, the, the size of the opening. Um, but it's a, it's a long, like, maxi dress. So you're not going to be able to see the whole thing, like, right now. But it's a long dress. It has the ruffle. Um, yeah. Um, but it's like I said, it is the linen material. And it has like the nut, has the, um, like a V-neck opening. And I did get this in my usual size. Because I was thinking that it was going to be the polyester material. The, the one that kind of stretches. But it's not. It's the, uh, 
that kind of material that's like the linen. So I haven't tried this on yet, yet either. So y'all will be seeing me try that on. And I really do like this dress. It's really nice. It seems like it'd be really comfortable. So before I make my final judgment, so we are going to have to try it on. So yeah, pick that up. I said, y'all are not going to be able to see the whole thing here. Just a long <laughs> with the ruffles, so. Um, okay, so here we have the dress. It's not quite, um, not quite a full maxi dress. Um, on a taller person, they might consider this a midi dress. Um, but it's definitely comfortable, like around here. But as you can see, with there not being any stretch, um, it's going to be a little iffy for me. I mean, I'm still, I'm not going to return it. I'm still going to keep it. The sleeves are loose enough. Um, not my favorite, but, um, I'll just have to be careful. Like I'm not going to be trying to do any weightlifting or anything in this, but on a comfort level, it is really comfortable. Um, I do like this. Like I said, the only, only issues for me is in, you know, the up here. So, but I mean, it's not so bad. Um, it's not super tight up here, but it's, I would rather be there be stretch, obviously, so. But, I do like this. It's really cute. It's, it's nice and light. Um, I don't think it's see-through. <laughs> I don't think it's see-through. I don't know. Um, I don't, I think, I think we're good. So, but yeah, this is really comfortable, really light. I like this. So, this would be good for maybe going out on, like, a lunch date or even a, sorry had a had a low battery alert here um but be cute for you know just going out on something just where you want to wear something a little nicer so but yeah that's my only issue is just being like all the the stretch like up in here so so yeah but i mean it's not super bad it's all right um yeah it's all right so, but other than that, I like it. Um, I'm going to keep it. So, yeah. There you go. You got, uh, I wouldn't call this 10 out of 10. I would call this maybe, just because, e with my body type, I don't fault the, um, the makers of this dress or anything. But, I would call this maybe, maybe an 8 out of 10. So, I do like this though. It's really comfortable. Really loose and flowy. So, and like I said, I did order this in my usual size of 3X, so, so yeah. I wouldn't want to go up to a 4X. This is good enough, so. But, that's all, that's for that one, so, there you go. Oh, and to pair it with these chandelier earrings, just to give you guys an idea. So, yeah. To make it look a little bit better. And the hair up, maybe. <laughs> so yeah but that's all I got for y'all for right now um and as always um if you've never ordered from Timu before um if you would like to check it out um you can use my discount code or my affiliate link down in the description box to get 50% off your first order and a hundred dollar coupon bundle but only if you download the app for the first time, create an account, log in, and place your first order. So, <laughs> I'm trying to make sure to get that get that stipulation in because that's that's how it's going to work, guys. Unfortunately, that's just how they've got it set up right now. Um, you have to have downloaded the app and logged in for the first time to be able to use this discount. So, that's all I got. Um, I will let you guys go. And until I see you guys again... Be good. Bye for now. Bye.